Okay, so first thing, throttle to 100%. Nice! So this thing takes off fantastically well. You see we've got orbit surface info, I'm just going to bring up my servo controls. And this thing rotates really early on, just fine. Look at that. Let's bring the landing gear in. So we're going to go and take this out for a little while and then we'll turn it around and hopefully we'll be able to perform our burn to high altitude near enough that we'll be able to put it down on the runway. That's all I'm, that's my plan. We're up to 10,000 meters which is good so I think at this altitude I'm going to turn, try and turn this around and this is where it's going to get hard because I'm going to try and turn it while not losing altitude which is apparently harder than I expected. There we go. So, I'm, I'm wondering how close I should get, because ideally I would like to land it on the runway. Oh, I should hit F5. F5 is being hit. Okay, we're almost at 11 kilometers. I think, so this one, because this, uh, because these passenger cabins weigh so damn much, this thing has a really hard time getting to the correct altitude. But I think at this point, we're gonna, we're gonna quick save. And we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes. Wow. This thing fired up really fast. Uh oh. No, 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 no. There does seem to be a bit, little bit of instability here. No. No, I exceeded the aerodynamic limits. Damn it. Okay. The great thing is, of course, this thing will recover if I let it. Yeah, there we go. Back. It is kind of stable, but we're going to have to F9 that. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. I It was working so well earlier. You know what I'm going to do is gimbal, enable gimbal control. That should let me get through that. There, you see that? I, oh! There we go. Okay. That was not the correct trajectory, but it is working for me. So there's a moment of instability there when the fuel flow is just wrong. Where I over, you know, exceeds the limits or whatever. Ultimately, look, we're doing it! What's our altitude? Our, our Apo apps is going to be 50 kilometers, 60... Ah, oh, man, we only just got outside the atmosphere. That's pretty lame. Okay. Okay. I'm going to enable gimbal. Okay, so I'm going to go into a steeper climb because that I basically went too far. So if I can get it to point straight up, then my job will be done. How did I just lose my autosave? No, I didn't lose my autosave. I didn't do anything. Okay, now we're going straight up. Oh, yes. This is looking good. Let's see if we can get it higher. Okay, four, 50 kilometers, 60 kilometers, 70, 80, 97. I get two kilometers higher. That's a good sign. Of course, the real spaceship, uh, Virgin Galactic or whatever, will go even further. And we're above 70 kilometers, so now bring this into the descent configuration. I love this thing. I made this years ago in Kerbal Space Program, and it was 
so ugly and impractical. Like, the wing surfaces were completely the wrong size and shape. And because Infernal... Oh, sorry, it was Magic Smoke? I can't remember. What was it called? The robotics mod, before it was Infernal Robotics, it was something else. The joints were really flappy, and so I actually had to include quantum struts and have those things turn on and off to, like, stop the whole thing flapping around. I should make an ornithopter. I have tried an ornithopter. That way leads to madness. One of these days I may... Magic Smoke Industries... It was Magic Smoke Industries, but it wasn't... It wasn't Infernal Robotics, it was something else. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's do time acceleration. So I'm just going to use physics time acceleration because that's more realistic. Let's see if we can make it back to the runway. Consigned to damnation robotics. How about sitting in limbo robotics? No? How fun would this be game be if it was multiplayer? That would depend. A laser face is asking, am I an analog synth fan or am I cool with digitals like everything? Laser face guy, uh, I love, I love synths that run on my phone. I've like so many synths that run on my phone and they're all like so much fun. Oh, uh, let's see, Technobox. Let's, let's see if, we, oh, this isn't the one. Uh, let me see if I can get one playing while I, okay, I'm going to get one playing before I get back to Earth, back to Kerbin. Oh, it's warning me that it may step. Okay, let's uh, play this. There we go. This is on my iPhone. That's a, like a six-part synth. It's an old app, actually. I, I gotta figure out what the latest one is. Now, I'm gonna start deploying this. Stability control on... So I'm going to try and aim for the runway. So I'm pushing the nose down a bit here. Okay, now that's our speed down. So we got to drop this back into the stowed position. 14 kilometers and we're... Wow. We're now going to fall into a steep dive, actually. Damned Robotics. Yes, it was Damned Robotics. Thank you, TG626, who remembers what Kerbal Space Program was once like. Okay, so now let's uh, flatten this out. And I think I I am too high here, so I'm going to do a turn in this direction. We're going to do... I'm going to turn out this way. Uh oh I'm going to do it very careful. I'm going to enable fine control here. So I'm going to do a bit of an S turn away from the runway. The reason being that I'm literally too high and too close to the runway, so I need to bleed off energy before landing, right? The space shuttle would always come in high because it would need the option to bleed off, you know, it, it would need to have excess energy. Uh, and then, okay, now I'm going to turn the uh, turn the other way. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Let's just turn really hard. So now I think I have enough energy to get to the runway, but maybe not. It will be fun if I don't. The fun thing about gliding is there's only one chance. When I say fun, I mean this would be utterly terrifying if I had to do it in real life. But in the game, I can do that. I think da Damned Robotics may well be an acronym for something, but I don't remember. Yeah, during descent, the they would obviously look at how it was performing, and depending upon how it was performing, they would do extra S turns, and then they would come in. They would plan to come in over the launch, the landing site, and then they could spiral down once and then land it. But the space shuttle obviously was not the greatest aircraft. You know, that's something uh, I've always wanted to do was build a space shuttle and then put it in a box and see if I could make the box fly better than the space shuttle. Wow, I've picked up a lot of speed here. Uh, what I'm going to do is swoop down very low and then flare really early. 
because this thing is going to be going too fast if I have to land it. Okay, here we go. Full starting. That's pretty good. Okay, now we're slowing down a bit better. This is where I could use some air brakes. So I'm de I'm deliberately coming in low here. I know this is not standard, but the runway is actually pretty short. Okay, gear. Get that gear down for the extra drag. Okay, now 92 meters per second. Oh. Okay, 65 meters per second looks like a good number. Touch. Okay, pretty good. And brakes. And successful touchdown of Spaceship 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch this again. And then I'm going to command this to go up. Like in a... Oh yeah, 45 degree gimbal locked, gimbal free, 45 degree climb. Okay, now I'm just going to switch back to the carrier plane and watch it fly away. I don't care about it because I want to try landing this thing. So the good news is, it still flies. Boy, this has some really interesting side slip dynamics though. As soon as I start to turn there, like turns the wrong way. So anyway, we're going to try landing this. It, you know, this thing wants to go like Mach 3 or whatever. Or Mach 1, sorry. Now I do have... Uh, I do have thrust reversers on this. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to try coming in from the other direction. Oh, that thing's still there. 30 kilometers away. Oh, I wonder if I can get this thing... Uh, let's see if I can get this thing down in time to get control off it. Okay, so we're going to do some very hard maneuvering here. Uh, let's... And uh, we get full authority on those. I did physics and, and uh, astronomy back at college. That's why I know a lot of things, right? <sighs> okay, where is that thing? 70 kilometers away! I'm just wondering if I can get down and then switch to it from the runway. That's what I... Maybe I just... I won't go for the runway. I'm gonna just try and land next to the runway for the simple reason that it would be very nice to land somewhere. Well, it would be very nice to have somewhere for the spacecraft to land. Okay, so I'm going to throttle this down a bit more. Actually, let's just leave this throttled up. Oh my god, look at the way this thing rolls. It like wants to do a barrel roll whenever you do an aileron roll. Okay, let's bring the gear down. This is where it gets to be fun. Any recommendations when it comes to learning physics? Uh, like on your own? I mean... Okay, I just want to see. Yes, thrust reversers are applied. Oh, crap. No, no, no. This way. Thrust reversers... Okay, so now... Oh! Oh, Nelly! Okay, here we go. So this thing is just gonna want to fly. Excellent! Okay. Then apply the brakes. Throttle down. Oh, don't you dare cartwheel. Now, if I go to map, is this thing still here? Map. 
Zoom, 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 zoom. There it is there. Quick. Uh, switch to. Woo. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. The engine's firing again. Okay. Now we better switch it to stability mode because we're now coming down fast. I think it was pretty good. There we go. Yeah, so landing a U2, the, to land the U2s, they actually had to have a chase car. It was a guy in like a Corvette or something, in a, a convertible. And they would run after it and basically talk the pilot down. Um, Violent Shadow, that, there's so many, when you have a lot of science from a moon, there's so many options. But actually, it's better to have the science lab around other places. Okay, so now we're going to move the nose down on this. Okay. So I'm going to... Obviously, I'm going to have to aim for landing it on this and that. I'm actually going to disable the gimbal on this, as suggested by Silent Searchlight. Okay. Thank you, Silent Searchlight, for being a mod. I know that it's a thankless job, so it's a. I'm going to thank you for it, because it's a thankless job. Um. <laughs> okay, let's flatten this a bit more. Okay, now we're flying again. I'm so happy that I was able to do that. That was stunning. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering... Uh, yeah, they still occasionally fly U2s. And obviously, there's still that whole band called U2. You know, pretty good band. I mean, obviously, the Joshua Tree and Achtung Baby are two of the greatest albums ever recorded. I was thinking about, you know, what albums, Desert Island Discs or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I, Silent Searchlight is correcting me on the order of events. But Silent Searchlight is being a hero regardless, so I'm just going to say thanks! So... Hopefully I can find a place to land this thing safely. Because none of this stuff looks particularly safe, if you ask me. Uh, the U-2 is inferior to the SR-71 because, let's face it, there are very few things that are superior to the SR-71 because it is so insane in so many ways. Uh, seriously, SR-71 is awesome, but people actually forget the SR-71 is actually part of a family of three different aircraft that were built around pretty much the same airframe. They actually, there actually was like an interceptor that was based on a very similar design, but never really deployed. But the SR-71 was just like the most amazing thing, plane ever. Sure, there are planes that can fly faster, there are planes that can fly higher, but there is no plane that can fly f as high, as fast, and as long. Well, there is probably a submarine called the the U-2 as well, but because uh, the German U-boats basically had U designations. Unterwasser, whatever boat, right? Okay, we're gonna. I'm going to flatten this out and get down on the the ground before I hit these hills. Okay! Oh, no. I thought I'd made a clean landing there. 47 meters per second! Okay. I'm going to just hit the brakes now. I I am quite impressed that I was able to do that. I'm I'm just going to say I I am very happy with that result there. I don't know how I can follow that up now. I mean, I guess I can go back to the 
base and fix this. Let's go back to the space center and recover everything. 